going to officially call the meeting to order. If everybody can please stand and face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome you all to the October Borough Board meeting. Um, so uh, we'll start with attendance. We are missing Council Member Borelli's office. Everybody else is here. If uh, moving on to the acceptance of the minutes, if everybody could just take a look in your packet at the minutes. I did that already. Okay. So time. and I will entertain a motion to accept. Motion to Jerry accept. Jerry first. Can I have a second? Nick second. Okay, so we're going to move right along into our presentation. We have Fred Viley here from the New York City Department of Consumer Affairs, and he's going to give us a presentation on their financial empowerment centers. Fred, you have the floor. All right, well, thank you all very much for inviting me, and uh, thank you for being here. I would say the first part of all, that's absolutely on time, so for that. I also wanted to say, uh, before I begin, that I'm actually the representative for Staten Island. So some of you have been in contact with me at the community boards or elected officials, but if you happen to know now, so if you have any concerns, any issues uh, related to consumer affairs, just give me a call or email and we'll follow up on it. You know, so that's the point to make sure that everybody's already aware of that, hopefully. Okay, well, that yes. Good. Well, what I want to talk about today is our financial empowerment centers that are basically, this is about the 10th year that we've been operating them. They're basically centers that are located through 20 different locations throughout New York City where you'll be able to get free financial counseling. So whether it's assistance with budgeting, whether it's any issues you may have with credit, if you want to sort of plan a strategy to get your credit score up from 600 to 700, we can sit down there and work with you on a strategy to do that. If you want to establish credit, we can also have a strategy for you to actually establish credit. If you have any issues with debt and you want to get that sort of taken care of, get a plan together to get the debt order, you can also go to the center. An important thing to note is that we actually license debt collection agencies that are finance action legal. We also have a very nice booklet on debt collection agencies that I would highly recommend anybody that's our constituents have a need for that. We can send you um, some copies or send you an electronic copy. Um, one of the things I want to, with this presentation, I want to sort of uh, have you reach out to any organizations that you may uh, have affiliation with that might be uh, suitable for utilizing the, uh, the center. The center that we have in Staten Island is actually located at 2 St. Paul's Avenue at the Lower East Side's People Federal Credit Union North Shore Ranch. So I'm guessing that's relatively close to here. Mm -hmm. So you can direct with anybody, I guess from Staten Island wants to use a brand, say they work in Manhattan, they can use an office in Manhattan. And I have a listing which I can send you by email of all of the offices throughout the city if one is more convenient than the one that's in Staten Island. And the, the booklets I have here is I gave us some directions some more information that we can discuss. Another thing with the centers is that regardless of your immigration status, you're able to utilize the centers also to stop that. Yeah, so something, and if you have any concerns with language, when English is not your primary language, we have a service called Language Line, which pretty much is available in most city agencies where somebody can go in if they speak Chinese, if they speak Spanish, and if you're more comfortable speaking in that language, they can go have the consultation done in that language, either through a representative or we'll call a language line and get somebody to assist them in that particular language if you're more comfortable with um, For is there any questions, concerns, funny stories? Um, yeah, so. So individuals can use this as well as businesses and outside? Okay, very good question. It's primarily for individuals. However, if you are a small business owner and you want to have a discussion about your finances, we can also uh, speak with you. Now that discussion will be on your personal finances. Because sometimes, a lot of times, a lot of times when you first start your business and there is no track record, whoever you're dealing with, they're gonna be going by your personal finances when you initially start your business. So that's something we definitely want to be able to speak with 
people are starting a business to say, you know, you're going to be starting a business, you're going to be needing financing hopefully in the next couple of years, and you're going to need to have your credit in order because that's the first thing they're initially going to look at before your business opens up and it has like a track of you know, borrowing and uh, paying back loans. Any other questions or concerns? Mr. Scott Allen, address in here? Uh, two No, I need to call. I just give the call. Okay, yeah. right here. Yes. It's right over here. Right. I'm not going to say the same thing, but another call. And also to make appointments, you can do it several ways. You can call 311, say I want to make an appointment. You can also go on our website. It is an actual sheet on our website that you can go ahead and make an appointment. If we're at an event, for example, we have the capability of actually making appointments for people that you don't want comfortable. So like I know we're going to, I think, Councilman, we're going to an event for you yeah, on uh, Saturday, two weeks from now. October 13th. October 13th, yeah. okay. So this why I want to come to that event. We can give them information and also set up an initiative. Another thing I wanted to mention about our financial uh, centers is that starting in November, we're going to be having an initiative targeting people with disabilities. So if someone has a disability and there's some special financial concerns that they want to discuss, they can also come and they'll have a dedicated uh, provider to give them that information. We're actually in the process of looking for a provider. So we should have one secured by November, and once that happens, then we'll definitely send out all of the information, but just something just to be aware of in the future. We did a presentation uh, at the, the Independent Living Center a few months ago when we initially kicked off the program in the mayor's office. So that pretty much is um, the information that I have to give you today. I'm going to leave the brochures. If you want to get any type of materials from us, whether it's financial empowerment center materials or other materials, let me know. If you would like us to come and speak, you know, definitely give us a call. Like I said, um, the representative, I mean, it, it, it will either be me or one of my colleagues who will come to speak, but it could be about, you know, pretty much any issue that consumer affairs is uh, regulating. All right, so again, thank you for your time. Thank you also for being on time, like I said. Um, a lot of times we have to wait, so I appreciate um, being able to speak and then, you know, go forth and get it. Do you have a card? Oh, yes. I, I apologize for not bringing my um, full deck of cards, but I will definitely read them. No, no, no. I have them. Yes, I have them. I know Councilman DeVos in office has it to vote the president. So, also, I need to do Right, so basically, I'm going to find one of the federal things. I need to do this. Is this widely utilized? Is that a silver? Yes, it's not utilized as much as we would like it to be. Yes, it's not utilized as much as we would like it to be. Now, they've serviced a lot of people over the 10 years, but we want to still make sure that a lot of people are aware of it. They don't leave your choice, but if you're not aware, then you may not you know, have to take advantage of it. And it's suitable for a lot of people in New York City who may not be like any financial uh, uh, stockbroker or that type of deal. Is that sophisticated for somebody sort of you know, entering the workforce or somebody who may not have credit or Bad credit, have some issues. How to go about getting credit? Right, how about getting credit? It doesn't work through those things so that later on when they get to the point where they can deal with a broker, get a little bit first in their finances and the work. So, and also before you buy a home, because we don't want you to, New York City has a, you know, a major housing issue, and a lot of it unfortunately gets perpetuated because a lot of people don't have good credit. And when you go apply for whether it's an apartment, a mortgage, co op condo, they're going to run your credit. So if that credit's not good, if you don't plan years in advance to get it in order, you're just going to be stuck. So we want to try to avoid that you know, for all the residents of the city. What is it? Do you have a novel? Sure. You have a Now, I'm leaving. This is like I think I have another tent so you can leave it you know, with the borough office and whoever will utilize it. If you need that, if you need any other materials, definitely just give me an email or a call. Okay. Thank you. Right. So, no, thank you. Thank you very much. Right. Oh, I might even be able to catch. You should send my service. Uh, so, moving along in the agenda, uh, there was no correspondence. Does anybody have any old business to bring up? Any new business? Can I entertain a motion to adjourn? Nick first, Jerry second. Thank you